We're almost at the halfway point of this year's Home for Good build as we work to build a home for a deserving family. Community involvement is essential to the success of Habitat's projects, and 10 News anchor Brittany McGraw explains the many ways you can help. Time has been flying as we approach the halfway point of this year's Home for Good project. Yay! This is where we started at the beginning of June, and this is how things look today. But this progress wouldn't be possible without the help of volunteers. The way that Habitat builds those houses affordably is by using volunteer labor whenever possible. On average, volunteers provide 70% of the labor needed to complete each home. And there are lots of ways to help. You might be framing a house, um, you might be putting wallboard up, you might be painting, you might be uh, landscaping, you might be putting a porch on the back, on the back of the house. Uh, but whatever it is, we'll make sure that you do it in your comfort level and, and also with the training that you need to make sure it's done right. But there are other volunteer opportunities, no hammer or nails required, at Habitat's ReStore. The ReStore sells new and used uh, furniture, home goods, and building supplies. And then the proceeds from selling those items goes to help fund the building of the Habitat houses. The COVID-19 pandemic has impacted Habitat's volunteer numbers with more individual volunteers, but fewer groups, which are typically a big part of Habitat's volunteer force. We are still building back up. We are still low. We really would like to have those groups back out. Because those volunteers are not just building a house, they're building community. In Roanoke, I'm Brittany McGraw, 10 News, working for you. Head to WSLS.com to get more information about volunteering or donating to Habitat.